Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more Hydroneer 2.0. Last episode, we got our first little thing being made here, uh, our first little automation, I guess, set up, and we've got like a bucket full of goodies. So we're gonna start off by selling this today, and then uh, probably setting up like a little sorting and f like smell tree and things like that. I don't know. We're gonna see. Um, and then also, I do want to go ahead. I want to go check, take a peek at like the new areas too. Uh, and kind of see what's going on there. So, um, yeah, thank you again for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. And let's get into it. So, we've got a whole bucket here full of goodies. Let's go ahead and let's just turn this off for now since we don't have a valve. We're just going to do that. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and grab this. And, oh, I bet you this thing is full of stuff. Oh, look at that. I love it. All right. How much do we have here? Good amount. Good amount. 1223 oh that is what i'm talking about okay perfect yes oh i like it i like it okay we're gonna grab our money here in a second i'm gonna dump out these crystals though because we got a lot of them and then uh yeah we need to kind of see i think i need to get like we need to get some more buckets some more pans and things like that and uh it'd be nice if we could start smelting some stuff as well but you know one thing at a time here okay so let's see um, things that we probably should get home. Let's just go ahead and dump that in there. Uh, we probably should get a hand sorter. We should probably also get a furnace, a crucible, an anvil, a casting mold, a blacksmith. We probably should get all of this. Um, but we should also probably go ahead and get, um, oh, head mounted lighting device press Q to wear while looking at the helmet you know what we probably should grab one of these two so we can see like what the heck's going on also check out these new standing torches they're super cool too uh and then maybe some foundations and stuff like that let's uh yeah let's start getting some stuff to get going like around here and then we'll start focusing on other stuff i don't want to like skip ahead too fast because we could just go straight for like more mining things actually it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and get another ram drill should we see if we can do this you know what let's do it let's throw this in the back of the truck let's grab a bucket and let's go check out the new areas and we'll see what we can buy there now i don't know if we have enough money for anything because those equipment that equipment was technically used <laughs> so we'll see but if we could get another one of these ram drills right here put it on this side going into here we could have like double the output that would be super nice uh it'd be pretty handy right now all right we're making our way over here let's see so I think everything, oh, the vehicles feel much better. Oh, wow. The turning on this thing is so much better now. And I know that was something that like got reworked. Oh, wow. It's a little, it's like, it's almost touchy now. Okay. So let's see what we got going on here. I don't think there was, there wasn't really anything in this town before. There's like a little thing here. It'd be cool if we could light this campfire. This is a cool little shack. Um, and then let's see, we got all oh, these lights are cool too. Stock market. What are these selling? Daggers. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the next area. So the next area was like the main town, but I think there's another town. Oh, whoa. What the heck is this? Oh, hold on a second. What is this? Gold bars are up. There's a bridge right here. So that must be going to the new area. Oh, super exciting. Um, mildews aquifer bridge pour. <laughs> There's some tombstones here. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Uh, should we run over to bridge? Let's run over to bridge pour real quick and let's see what, if there's anything different. I think it's, it's just right here, right? And uh, it's kind of a ways over there. <gasps> look at this little house. This has always been here. But we got to look at it anyways. Just see if there's anything different. <gasps> Ooh, ah, it's like a little mini castle. I like it. Okay. Let's go check out Bridgeport. See if there's anything new there. And then we're going to run up to, uh, we're going to run up to like that new snowy area. And we're in Bridgeport. What is that? Hold on a second. Is... Is this red with black stripes? Is this red with black stripes? This is totally red with black stripes. 
Oh, this is going to be our truck for sure. Oh my gosh, there's it's red with black stripes, people. Um, so that one's 1420, 1420, 1420. Okay, so they're all our 1420. This is red with black stripes. <gasps> when was this added? Was this just added or was this like updated? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. <laughs> we need it. We need it in our lives so bad. Okay. All right. Let's look at what else we got here. Okay. So we got the scrap yarn. That looks about the same. Um, conveyor nation. Oh, the entrance is different. Okay. This is laid out a little bit differently. So what the heck? Cloutium dirt shredder. Oh, this is tier two forged iron dirt shredder. Gem polisher hook hooks. Onto conveyor belts, polishes gems that pass by. <gasps> what? Vertical conveyor. Splitter. Hook onto pipes, moves resources, higher water pressure, places, place resources on tray to split. Oh, so we could choose. Oh, wait. Is this the new sorter? Left conveyor, right conveyor, straight conveyor. Um, hold, is that, is that, the, that's not the new sorter. Is that the new sorter? Okay, so we've got our funnels. I think that's our new sorter. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a rake. Uh, logic compressor. We got all kinds of wonderful things in here. We got these. These are all cloud TM. Okay. So these are tier two. Oh, pumps water into pipe system at 250% pressure. <gasps> That's amazing. That is awesome. Water pressure gauge hook. Water filter hook. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, I love I love all the changes. Okay, hold on. Let's check out this um fancy place. Okay, so we've got mannequins, tables, safes, pillows. This looks about the same. I might be missing like a thing or two here. What is this? Help wanted. Ah! Wanted. Let's give out reward. <laughs> I love that. That is so funny. That is so good. And then let's see. We've got. Um, oh. Was there always wooden stairs? I think that. Whoa. Wood pillar foundation. That's something new. Wood roof. Wood roof. Wood roof corner. Wooden table. Doors. I like this. I like the the whole redesign here is pretty neato. Okay, this is all cool. Does this still uh does this house keep out? <laughs> I like it. And then what do we got over here? Here's the jeweler. Um, nothing in here yet. Okay, I think is that everything? I think that might be everything. We're gonna have to probably uh we're going to have to check out the um, the ice place for sure. What does this go? Does this just like go up and over and into the scrap area? Oh, it totally does. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to have to get that black and red vehicle for sure. Oh, the red and black one. That is... Oh, I feel like that just has my name like all over it. That thing is... We got to look... Hold on. We just got to look at the... How much money do I have? 1282. Oh, we can't get it yet. Oh, it looks so good though. I love it. I approve. Okay, let's go check out these uh, other places. More vehicles coming soon. So let's see. I think in order for us to get to the ice area, I think we have to go this way. And I think we have to go up, up and over that bridge, if I'm not mistaken. So I think we go this way. And then this is going to take us up and over into a new area. Now, this new area is also like a mineable area. So there is um, a mine up here or a... Oh, what the heck? Oh, this is... Is this the town? <gasps> what is this? <gasps> is this... Oh, this is that new area. What is that? What in the heck is this thing? It looks like a super foundry thing. What 
This is super cool. <gasps> There's another room over there. Okay. So what is... Truck. Wait, so we can load up a truck of stuff? You can't get a truck down here. Oh! Oh, you can put resources right here and then it goes up into the bed of a truck. So there must be a, a spot to place something up top. Oh, holy moly. Okay, and then we, what do we got here? So that goes down, makes a bar. Hit the lever. And then it turns it into something else. What is this? So this is like some kind of super forge. Do we place the resources in there? Oh, place your bars. Place the bars into here. And then we place whatever that is. Is that like the template or something? Maybe, maybe some kind of template or something. Oh, that is super cool. All right, hold on. Let's go check out what's over here. Oh my gosh, this area is super cool. Um, tools and equipment. Is there anything? Oh yeah. There's conveyors and stuff down in here. What are these? <gasps> Forged iron harvester masterwork design. Oh, you place these and then you can make your own? No way. Place the ice helm, place on the ice helm anvil pedestal. Oh my gosh. Wait a Oh my gosh. I, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just realizing like a bunch of stuff all at once. It just hit me. Okay. In order. So these are used on the big machine over here. Those are our masterworks. Those are initial templates. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go back over here. Those are placed onto this pedestal right here. And that's going to say what you want to be made. And then you put your bars in here and hit the switch and then it's going to make that item which means i'm going to guess i because i don't know that you don't just buy your ram jewels and stuff like that anymore you actually have to craft them yourself you don't just go out and buy a whole bunch of them and then just place them where you want you actually have to craft them that is super cool that is very neat because that gives you like a whole nother crafting component because Okay, so forged iron drill, clautium drill, a masterwork design. So that's tier. So it looks like it. Okay, so it's 184 to purchase, but it looks like it requires 300 iron in order to craft this item. And then for this clautium drill masterwork, it's 1,000 iron and 300 clautium. And then this would be 60 iron. So this would give us an intake booster. Intake booster design. Forged iron cloudium. And then harvester. And then cloudium harvester. So I'm actually curious about this drill right here. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. Because yeah, there was well, there was no drills over there. Was there? They didn't have any drills or anything like that. Oh, this is super neat. And then you place, okay, and then once you make the item, you place it onto there, and then that shoots it up to the surface, maybe? Okay, let's go back up to the surface and check this out. This is cool. This whole thing completely redesigned the game, and I like it. I absolutely like it. Because buying stuff, like, it was cool to make money and then just, like, purchase more stuff and make more money. But, like, this is giving us... This is saying, like, this is making us have to craft it ourselves, you know? So, like, making the money, yes, but make the money for the molds and then, like, continue mining. Because, basically, it became a game of, like, make money, build more machines, make money, build more machines, or buy more machines. You didn't really have to mine anything anymore. You just basically could sell everything. Okay, so this is where the stuff comes out, goes in the back of the truck. And then this is where we can deposit some resources. Okay. 
And then they buy gems here. And then up here is a half broken down house. Okay. Oh, it's like dark time. I turned up the gamma. It looks kind of blue right now, but I turned up the gamma so we could actually see what's got, what the heck's going on. Um, this is very, very cool. Well, I didn't even look in here. Stairs, walls. Oh, this is our stone stuff. Oh my gosh. There's so much to do now. Um, okay, so that's over here. Now, I think there's a plot of land that we can actually mine right here. So once we get to like the point where we want to start doing this stuff, I feel like it would be who of us. Oh, there's another house up there. I feel like it'd be who of us to buy this plot of land over here. Maybe. My problems are going. <gasps> oh, there's water in here. Oh, this is the coolest area. Look at that. You got all the water. You've got a little house here. I don't think we can do anything with it. Like, so there's our water. So there's the water source. And then this whole area right here becomes our mine area. Oh, this is cool. How much is this place? Snow Rune Falls. It is 7,000. Oh, we've got to do this. This is okay. This is our goal. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to make enough money to move up here. And then once we can move up here, because there's a shop like right there and we're not going to need it. Uh, oh my gosh. This is super cool. Um, okay. Yes. List of list of things to do. First, we need to buy the red and red truck with black stripes. It's got to happen. Second, we've got to buy this land up here for 7,000. And third, we got to start making some serious casholas uh, and then start making some machines and stuff. So, oh, this is super cool. I am so excited about this. This is so cool. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm saying this correctly and that I'm like not, you know, not like lying about anything here. Because uh, like I said, I don't think we can purchase those machines anymore to do our mining for us. We cannot. So we do have to craft them ourselves. That is so cool. That is so cool. Good, good job, Hydraneer. I like that. Now, some people might not like it because it makes it a little bit more work to do stuff, but I think that completely, it, like, it, it, it absolutely works. It absolutely works because this whole game is about, like, you know, it's a mining thing, but then eventually, like, you don't really focus on the mining stuff anymore. You just, like, build and build and build uh, and buy. But now we actually still have to mine. We still have to get, like, resources and do stuff. And, like, oh, this is super cool. Um, all this stuff. We've got the, <laughs> the mini nukes. TNT, all the power stuff. Okay. Uh, let's run over to the boat. Is the boat still over here? No. The boat is completely gone. Wow. The boat is completely gone. We got another little neighborhood thing over here. Let's go check this out. So this is more like housing. Cottage Supply Company. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Use the flat in the terrain. That's going to be super cool. That's going to be super helpful uh, to get everything nice and level and flat. Mm. All right. Yeah. They, these are like some seriously, some serious fundamental changes. Cause like before we had the boat with all like the, you know, craftable cloudy and stuff like that, where you could craft your own bar or like, you craft your own pipes and stuff. But it's like, I don't think anybody ever really crafted their own pipes because it's just easier to go buy them. Um, oh, super cool. All right. Let's head back and actually. Is there anything here that I need to purchase while we're here? Because we need a hand sorter. Um, I would have liked to have gotten. We definitely need a hand sorter. I, I don't think we need a conveyor belt yet. I think we need a hand sorter and I think we're going to need. You know, man, the smelter. I think we might just go with a smelter instead of going with the the crucible and small furnace and stuff because it's, it's 1320 but that's not terrible it's not super expensive we're close to that yeah all right so let's go back let's do some more mining let's get some more money and then we'll come back here and then we'll purchase some things i should have left this going while we were gone <laughs> i don't know why i didn't actually you know what should we go ahead and get filters on here uh, cause that could stop us from taking damage. You know what? We can always just fix them. The, the spanners aren't that expensive. Okay. Our machine is taking damage here. 
Let's go ahead. Let's do. You know what? Maybe we should go ahead and buy some filters. We probably should. All right. Let's take this up. Let's sell this. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's buy some filters. Let's get this run a little bit better. We'll grab a, uh, a bag of wrenches as well. I'll grab the hand sorter and then some buckets and things. And then we can just start kind of going from there. And then uh, once we have, you know, a substantial pile of stuff, then we'll go grab the smelter. Okay. So we got 1556. Let's grab our hand sorter here. Put that there, and then... We grab that. We're going to need... I need some more of those pans. I think we need some more of these. Because we're going to need one for, like, each resource. So I'll just grab a couple for now. We'll grab those. Let's go see where we can put this, because we do have to have this hooked up to water as well. I guess we could hook it right here, maybe? So that could go, we could just put a T right here. That could go into there. Yeah, that I think that'll work. So all I actually need is a T pipe. Uh, hold on, let's grab these. So one's gonna go like right here. So that way they can go into there. And then the other one's gonna be the other one. So then I think what happens is we put the resource that we want on here. It sorts out the resource that we put here into this one. And you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and grab a valve at the same time, too. So we'll grab a valve and we'll grab a T-pipe. And then we'll get these hooked up. Um, but yeah, we probably should go ahead and just throw on those filters. That way we don't have to worry about this. Because I think it's cheaper to have filters break than it is um, our machines. Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, because if it's one filter versus like possibly like four machines, you know. So, okay, so those are set up like that. Uh, let's go grab our valve. Now, it looks like this valve goes in between two pipes, which is actually pretty cool. I like that they kind of... I like that they changed this. This is just the whole thing is just exciting. I like all these all these changes. So instead of this being like, you know, a whole other pipe type, it just clicks into I'm guessing onto a pipe like that. That is so nice. And then our filters probably hook into these or maybe onto these. So let's go grab some filters too. Uh, maybe we should take the hand cart. Because we're probably going to buy four filters, I think. All right, so I want... How much are these? 174 a pop. Ooh. But you know what? I think four is like the always been the magic number. 696. Oh, no. I want the coins. I want the monies. Perfect. Grab those. Grab these. Perfect. All right. And then, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab a tool bag while we're here. Now we're at 338, which is okay. Um, because we should still actually have enough for our... Actually, we have... I think we have everything. We should have everything we need. Okay, let's see. Let's get these off of here. Now, let's hook these up. Do these hook to... Okay, hook to that. Can these hook, like, multiple to a pipe, I'm wondering? Like, can we rotate it? Oh, see, that is super cool. So you don't have to have, like, four filters... Lengthwise, you can just have four filters on like one pipe if you want to. So now we have those four filters on there. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and repair this. And then let's go ahead and turn this. Oh, wait, hold on. We need we need another bucket. So we can drop that in here. Kind of, if I can get it to stop it. You know, I've never had an issue with this until now. Come on. Really? There. 
Okay. Turn that on. Turn that on. Perfect. So we'll let this run. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of gold and we'll set this on here. So then when we dump this bucket onto here, everything but gold should go into here and the gold should go into there. Okay, I like this. I like this. Oh, this is exciting. I guess we could go ahead and get a pressure booster. Maybe in here. Um, and then boost pressure going to this so it's a little bit faster, maybe? I don't know if it will be any faster, though. It might be. Because we do have those, uh, we, we're getting those crystals, so... You know what? Let's do it. Let's go grab a pressure booster. Well, we have 338. Maybe we can grab a pressure booster. Uh, 142. Okay, yeah, so we can grab that. We'll go ahead and turn this valve off, move this out of the way, get this in here. Where is... Perfect. Okay, so now... We should be able to grab these crystals. Should have grabbed a bucket. Then we can throw these right into here like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm going to grab all of these and just throw them all in there. I decided to grab the bucket instead. Perfect. So now, you know what? We also need you know, we need to grab that hammer. We're going to grab the construction hammer because I'm going to accidentally hit the buttons and we're going to uh be grabbing things that we're not meaning to grab. <laughs> Is this the construction hammer? Yeah, let's grab that guy. How much money do we have left? 154. We got to start making some money. Uh, you know what? I had a whole plan of go buy a truck, buy the new area, but we got to do this stuff first. That way we can be making more. I want all of these things to not move. Okay, so that should be good. Should be able to close that. Okay, now is it any faster? No. I don't think it's any faster than it was. I think it's because we were already at like pretty much 100% uh, pressure anyways, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead. Let's sort this and sell it. Um, I don't really have a reason to sort it right now, but I want to check out the sorting feature. Oh, wait, you know what? I need the water to be on, don't I? Okay, so let's check this out. All righty then. <laughs> <laughs> kind of missed the bucket a little bit. Jeez. Oh goodness! Now we have to clean up all this all by hand. Um, is there a magnet stick still? I could definitely use one of those now. Well, um, I don't see a magnet stick over here anywhere. Which makes me think we'd have to run all the way over there. And you know what? It'd probably just be faster for me to hand pick them up anyways. <laughs> oh, darn. I can't buy <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Time to pick them all up. Okay. I got everything cleaned up. Oh, hold on. No, I didn't. Um, So now I am rethinking my decision of getting the sorting machine. Because I'm thinking maybe we just like hold on to like all this stuff. Sell it. Try to make as much money as we can, buy the new piece of land, buy the truck, and then just, you know, start working on getting the other place set up instead of, like, continually building infrastructure here, whereas um, we're really going to have to just kind of move everything anyways. So I'm thinking that maybe we just uh, start selling. Oh, my gosh. 11.8. <sighs> yeah, that might actually take a while, though. That is that could be a problem. Mm, you know what, though? That's not going to that's not going to take that long. I think we'll be all right. All right, so now that everything's cleaned up and running, uh, we have a plan. I think I'm just going to have to basically kind of sit here and wait for uh, wait for the money to roll in. So that's actually going to end this episode. Next episode, hopefully we'll have a nice thing full of casholas. And we can start getting things maybe moved to our new location. Uh, we'll have to see, but that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.